background to this live um i think uh i know i know we kind of talked a little bit about it but the the floor is yours i know that um people have a lot of questions but i wanted to kind of just give you the opportunity to share your side um, and of course, we're going to want to pick your brain because you are her sister and you kind of saw a lot of things happen behind the scenes. Um, I watched your other live where you kind of went into some of the things about the, you know, her, her smear campaign and all the shit that she did and, you know, kind of how she just kind of spiraled. Um, and I guess I, I guess we can start there if you can give us context to why she did what she did. And yeah. <clears throat> Okay, so I don't know much. The only thing I know is like it started off with when y'all, when I want to say you and Walter had posted a hate, uh, a bull, uh, like the the I guess a comment where y'all were that word, um, y'all were calling her. I forgot what the word was that triggered her. The um, Mama Bubba, I think. Uh, that comment was made by a random person on the internet, and I liked it. Walter hadn't even like stepped into the the social media frame yet at that point. Okay. And then, like, I guess the there was like fake TikTok, um, fake TikTok videos. Um, they were posting like pictures, like I even my family was um posted in those um tiktok videos and they were just like you know i think he was like a, a vodka and like just random stuff that was being posted and she was like it's annie it's it's them like they're bullying me and like that just triggered her and she said she wasn't gonna give up like on you know everything that was you know did towards you to kind of validate what she was doing because I didn't know her. I didn't even know she was my follower. Um, I just, the first I heard of her was a live that she did where she was dissecting, you know, my personal life with my baby daddy and, you know, giving her opinions. And um, from there, things just kind of spiraled. But for months, I didn't want anything to do with your sister. Like, I just wanted it to stop. Like, I was like kind of like the peak of my platforms and also dealing with all this shit with my ex and trying to you know make her family work and all the hate on social media but your julia was just fucking relentless for no reason and it did get to a point where you know she got everyone to believe that i had fat shamed her and i hadn't at that point yet but i got so tired of people telling me you're a fat phobic you fat shamed her and i was like fuck it then if i'm going to receive the same amount of hate for something i didn't do might as well do it kind of like how you recently went on reddit i am a reaction yeah like when you recently went on reddit like she's been accusing you of receiving money for exposing her and you finally were like fuck it then why not you know and it comes from frustration like i don't think you really meant that today when when you were like you know the table go to the highest bidder but she has this way of drilling it over and over and over they're doing this to me they're doing this to me until you get tired of being accused for it and you know so for months i was watching these fake accounts create this content and so much hate for you're a bully you're fat shaming you're attacking her and i wasn't i wasn't when your guys's mom passed i didn't know about that until one of her followers jumped into my live and was like you're such a piece of shit for this and that and i was like i I didn't know, like, I was just talking about me. And Julia managed to turn it into, I was talking about your guys, and I had no idea, no idea. And then that got me, limp. everything that I was doing at that point was getting twisted into, I'm coming after Julia. And, you know, it wasn't until recently where I finally kind of pushed back with all these receipts that came to light where she stopped. And, but she stopped with me and then she moved on to recaps and then she moved on to you. Yeah, and so, someone, so, so someone commented, I thought this shit was over. It's not over. It could have been over, but it's not over because Julia doesn't let it be over. You know, that's what happened with recap. The denominator is that Julia literally goes online and starts saying random things about people 
And then when people come out to defend themselves, we are the problem. We're the bullies. We're attacking her. We are coming at her. We are this. We are that. And I don't know. It's frustrating. Um, so I think, like, everybody has... Here's the thing. You're her sister, right? So you don't really need receipts because you know her. You know how she is. You saw what happened behind the scenes. You know a lot of things that we don't in regards to her relationship, her her stuff. And this was never, like, a, a goal to oh expose her and make her feel like shit but it's gotten to the point where it's either that or you let her drag your name as she creates her stories for her platform you know off of you just like me she she created her entire youtube channel off of my story she made money off of my story manipulating it to make it more entertaining for people and all of a sudden the, the roles are switched and now we're the bad guys Right? Even if you did want to monetize off of defending yourself, she does it. Why shouldn't you? Why shouldn't I? People have to pay to hear her talk crap about you. And you're the bad guy for making, you know, a, a, a frustrated comment about, you know, I'll, I'll sell the tea finally. Because that's what you're being accused of. Right. Like, I can, I don't have, in Julia's eyes... And all the people that are on her side in her that pay to see her private lives, I don't have a right to defend myself. Like I, what Julia says about me and talks about me, it's okay. She can bully. She low key bullies me. Low key bullies me, and it's okay. And but I can't. I can't come on live and I can't defend myself because I'm a bad person. I'm a bad sister. So Julia's not a bad sister when she's sitting on live talking shit about me. got dragged in. my kids got dragged in my partner at the time got dragged in and so today when she was like oh you guys are dragging in my husband who has done nothing all of my friends and family did nothing my mods that she docks did nothing to her walter at the time i was dating him he did nothing to her my mom did nothing to her my stepdad did nothing to her my children did nothing to her i've proved that these fake accounts belonged to her she can't even acknowledge that you know and so she had no boundaries for anybody else and all of a sudden, you're going too far because you're putting out the one thing that makes her uncomfortable. Because maybe if she's uncomfortable enough, maybe she'll stop. And I think that's the I think that's the that's the approach I had, where make her com uncomfortable enough to stop doing this to me. And she stopped because look, she doesn't go live publicly anymore. She doesn't do this on TikTok anymore because she finally people started to see what it was. And so that takes us into this this next topic where everybody really is what people want to know about her goal and so today you made you know some comments on reddit the one thing people have always said about julia that really bothered her is that he married her for papers you know and she's defied that up and down i've had my own theories i don't know her i'm just a viewer on the internet but you being her sister and you know you came out today and you made some comments on reddit that somewhat support that theory that everybody's had which even if that's true it's okay you know people get married for papers all the time i think people's curiosity is when you build a platform off of something that's not true which is what julia talked me for for an entire year and you create these stories and then later on the truth comes out whether it's from your family members or you know random people like julia that just like to go digging around okay so that post that I made, um, I think it was yesterday, right? So that post that I made, it was made um, to defend myself from Julia. And it was sarcasm. It was sarcasm when I said, let's see who's the highest bidder on, you know, paying on this tea that I have on Julia, okay? Why did I say that? Because she keeps, you know, saying that I'm getting paid by recaps to tell her tea about herself and her life i'm not i uh, i don't have i don't even have recaps number i don't have her like we've never dm'd or anything like that right so that's why i put like who's since you know julia's saying it let me just you know go ahead and like you know i don't know make her life make her dream come true or whatever and who's the highest bidder like i don't that's that that's not what my point was like i really wasn't seeking to find money 
what I said on there, it's true. I just can't. I think it's to encourage you to come out, but this isn't something where I have paid you to come out and say anything. Recap right. has to pay you to come out. And I think you also have an explanation that you want to give about the money that you did receive from recaps. Right. And like, um, what I posted on there, it's true. Like, it's true. Everything is true. I just can't go forward with it because my sister told me that she wants no part of it. She does. She, she doesn't, I, I just can't go forward with it because I, and I mean, I have to, I have to respect her decision. So I am, I guess, and if you want to say I'm backing down from posting the actual receipt, I am backing down. Why? Because Nina, well, my sister is the only person that uh, I am, I have to talk to. So if I'm going to respect her decision and if she says don't post it, don't talk about it, I'm not going to talk about it. It's clear that there's a lot more to Julia's story, which is okay. We're not entitled to know, you know, all the details of somebody's life just because they're on social media. Despite the fact of how your sister treated me and all the things that she pried into and dug up and disclosed and read out loud and, you know, about my past and my family, honestly, I still, I, I don't feel entitled to like pull that out of anybody. You know what I mean? That's not my business. It's not your business. It's not the world's business. But the reason why it's brought out is because she pokes and pokes and pokes and pokes until finally you say something and then you turn into the bad guy. You know what I mean? The whole story about Jacobo, like she, there's a lot of things that got leaked on Reddit that she had never talked about. And it's, ironic because she spent so much time on my story on other people's shit when she has so much stuff of her own that she's kept in the closet you know what i mean like her marriage to Jacobo is not my business but we all know it's not what she puts on social media and that's okay just don't be fake about it you know what i mean stop coming for people and throwing shade left and right at single moms and this and that when like your story is not really that of a fairy tale there's a lot to it I will confirm her story her story and what she puts out is not real it is a fair it's very much a fairy tale um of course she does it for views you know um i like i'm not gonna say not all of it isn't true let's just say 50 percent. but like do not come out here making it seem like these women are doing something wrong because your husband is doing this for you looking like the way you look and they're looking like a model and their husband don't do shit for them. Hola, Nikki. Hola. 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 Yeah, I don't know why I can't hear you, Annie. Okay, how about now? I can hear you now. Okay, so tell us the story you mentioned, the money that Recaps did give you, because that's been something that Julia has kind of hung on to, that you were paid by Recaps to expose her. Okay. So Julia has asked me multiple times, um, hey, is it true Recaps is doing a raffle for you? Hey, is it true? Because they're saying it, a lot of us are saying it. And I was like, no, she's not doing a raffle for me. It must be for someone else. Like, because honestly, I did not know up until um 
So let me just go back a little, you know, refresh you guys. Everyone knows, and this is why y'all, and this is why they feed off of that. Everyone knows I'm not rich. I, I'm not, I, I'm middle class. I do not have, you know, money. I do work uh, at Target. Um, so when my husband's appointment came up, I had no money. When we went, of course, we borrowed money from his boss. And close besties that grew to, like, have a relationship with me um, knew this. So we maxed out our credit cards. Um, no, Yeah, I know Julia has said, nobody told you to take all your kids. I took all my kids because I'm a mother. I do not want to leave my kids behind. That's why I took my kids. So that's my problem, right? Um, I wasn't asking for anything from her anyways for the get-go. But um, the point is, we maxed out our cards. We did borrow money. Um, the group of these besties, it was Recap and a group of besties that wanted, wanted to remain anonymous. They decided to donate gift cards, um, Starbucks cups, and do this raffle. So that when I came back, I could have something to, you know, kind of, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have, I would have something at least to some kind of money to like either, you know, buy groceries or buy whatnot. Right. So when I came back from Mexico two or three, two or three weeks later, I had a, a email saying that so-and-so deposited through Zelle into your bank account. I was overdrafted like 500 and something for my rent getting taken out. So like this money came in handy. So when I seen that Recaps had deposited this money, I reached out to her and I told her, I was like, Recaps, like you deposited so much money into my account and like I have no way of repaying it back to you. Mandemo? A no y media. ¿Qué si por él? Si por favor. Okay. Huh? Okay. And so I had no way of repaying it back to her. And I told her, if you want, I can repay you this money um, when I get uh, my next check in two weeks. And she was like, no, 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 this is for you, me and the group of girls. We got together and we knew that you were going to need this money. It was going to come in handy. And then I was like, yeah, well, you know, the bank took it. So there's no way I can give it back to you until my next paycheck. She's like, no, no, no. See, it, it came in handy. Like you paid off the bank and blah, blah, blah. She was like, it was a gift. It was not out of like, it was out of our hearts. It's not us for us to come back and say like, oh, we gave Nikki this money. Like she was like, if you don't want to talk about it, if you don't want no one to know, it's going to remain anonymous. So that, so I'm guessing recap to prove to the other uh, girls that were in this, um, in the raffle thing. Obviously she sent receipts to let them know like, hey, look, here's the receipt I sent to Nikki, her money. So I'm guessing one of these girls send it to Julia. And that's where Jill is using it to say that I got paid to give so and so uh, receipts. <laughs> right? Because at the time, I, I don't know the timeline of when you went to Juarez, but she's made it seem like you received money for recently exposing exposing julia but the money that you got from recaps was i'm guessing some time ago right it's been a while it was probably back in um probably second week of november yeah and i think the one thing that like stuck out to me is the fact that julia wouldn't believe you over whoever it is that told her that you were selling her out um to expose which everything that recaps exposed was recaps own receipt from her conversations with julia i didn't see i didn't see anything come out that didn't directly involve recaps that she wasn't a part of you know like i didn't see messages between your recaps i didn't see anything private that wasn't from those group chats exactly everything because i've i was getting on reddit as a guest i never created an account until two days ago so every what i've seen everything that recaps posted she had a receipt from from that group chat so why are, it's your audio so why are you gonna sit here and say nikki said it when you told these group of girls in that group chat yourself why are you blaming me why blame me like why do you have to use me like to to get the heat off of you uh, 
Um, I don't know if you asked me a question. You kind of, I couldn't hear you. If you're her sister, like I would want to cover up my sister. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, this was Julia's mom. Everything, yeah, like, like all of this belonged to Julia. So for her to say, well, why aren't why aren't they talking shit to her? Why would you want that? When she talks about loyalty, she didn't have any for you. She's the one that began with the lack of loyalty by wanting people to target you for everything that happened in the hate campaign. Yeah. So, like, so referring to what you're saying. How come the minute that they that they sent you those screenshots, how come you didn't like ask them or defend me and be like, no, like this, there must be a story behind this. Nikki couldn't have done this. Like, why didn't you defend me rather than just, oh, I'm going at Nikki and I'm going to send her messages and I'm going to accuse her. why she decided to you know deal with these issues with you publicly especially knowing it was during the heat of like the peak of when she was being exposed for all the raunchy things that she did um, I, I feel like she just so when she messaged me she told me oh like it's not fair like you're the one you're the only I, it's probably not exactly what she texted me right but i'm just like trying to remember but basically she was like it's not fair i'm getting all the heat and you're not receiving anything about my brothers about our brothers what do you mean you want me to receive heat from and, and the bullying like why why do you want me to to receive it as well with you like i don't have this big platform like you do You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, I'm the one that decided to put my life on here, not my family. If anything, I go out of my way to keep my family off of my platforms for that same reason. Because it's a I mean, look at the shit Julia did with the information she did have on me because of what I had shared. You know what I mean? Um, what is she talking about? So I don't know why they can't hear me. I mean, I, I can hear you just fine. You can hear me, right? I only can hear you. Um, so after I, after I speak and then you start speaking, I can't hear you until like a few minutes after. Sí, no puedes escuchar. No. Hi, Hundred Jewels. Thank you, Sarah. No. Is that Sunny Butter? Thank you, Erica. I can hear you. You can hear me? You guys can hear me now? Yeah, I can um, hear you. Okay, good. Maybe that helped. Okay, yes. I think I can hear you. Oh, I love that verse. Yeah, I can hear you, and right after I'm speaking, I can hear you. Okay, I think it was my mic. Um, okay, so I was just saying, like, I, I don't understand. Well, I do understand, because when everything was happening, when Julia was getting all the brunt of all the shit that was coming to light, yeah, she got a lot of hate. And I do think it's interesting that when Candace and all of them got brought into it, she... Hi, oh! she went on live right and tried to clean up the mess so that they wouldn't get hate because she didn't want people hating on candace she didn't want people hating on connie but she didn't do that for you like she wanted you to receive the hate with her which to me was conflicting right. because she went out to bat for the other content creators but she didn't bat for you mm -hmm. exactly she threw you under the bus so that's funny that you can see it, but not all these trolls that are commenting on here that I'm Nikki this year so low. So they, it's like, it's so funny. Like they're, these people that are her followers and that are like pay to see her are just 
looks like her. Because how come Annie can see this? That she can defend someone that's not her blood, but she can't defend me. She wants me to be... If she's going to go down, she wants me to go down with her. It, well, she's the one that brought you into all of this. Right. She's the one that's been saying shit about you. She she created content about you. And now you're you're not the bad guy for coming out to defend yourself. Just like I wasn't either. And just like Recaps wasn't either. People who don't see this pattern, it's people that are committed to misunderstanding this for Julia's favor. It's what I've came, like, that's my conclusion. Okay, because even when receipts were coming out of what she did to me, people still questioned it. Like, they were still like, is this real? How are you going to ask if it's real? That's her voice. That's, that's her really? screenshot. Exactly. What else do you want? What else do you want? And, and that's the mind fuck. That's like the frustration as a person receiving it that you're like, what else can I do for people to see this for what it is? But it's not that they don't see it. It's that they're committed to misunderstanding because Julia is, I, I got to give it to Julia. She's a master manipulator. She's very good at what she does. She's talented. She was able to manipulate a big ass group of women, her entire platform into doing these nasty things for her. And she did the same thing with recaps. I don't know how much she saw about what happened with recaps, but she she was, you know, sharing pictures and, and private messages of recaps and her husband and her side piece in that private membership on YouTube, you know, and then recaps kind of fell back too, because I'm sure that was a shitty feeling. I suspect she's going to do the same shit with you. This live is going to trigger her and she's going to feel betrayed and she's, mark my words, She's going to go on live and she's going to start exposing things about you, just like she did exactly. with recaps. And at the time, like, I kept trying to point it out, like, how do people not see that this is wrong? Recaps, regardless of how you see it, is somebody that at one point supported her platform, did a lot of things for her, a lot of dirty things, you know, to be her fan, her friend, supported her financially, and look how Julia repaid her. You're her sister. If she does you like this, like, she has no boundaries. Yeah, nobody's safe. And for her to ask for, like, oh, Jacobo has nothing to do with it. You know, I I think everyone's realized that Jacobo is her soft spot, right? If you right. want to get to Julia, you just got to bring up Jacobo. And people wouldn't have to resort to that if Julia wasn't attacking them. And everybody else, right? Like, she brought up your sister-in-law. She brought up, like, certain stuff about you that even I was uncomfortable listening to. And see, that's the thing. So, it's okay for Julia to sit here and talk about my sister-in-law, my brother-in-law, um, me bringing my kids into it. But yet, Julia sits here nonstop with her cheesemans, bringing in her family members, bringing in Jacobo's family members, bringing in Jacobo. But oh my god, it's the end of the world because Nikki's bringing up Jacobo. Yeah. When everything was happening, like with the hey campaign, she, you know, was like, oh, she's bringing up, because I did bring up Jacobo. But at the same time, she was bringing up, you know, who I was with at the time. And then she would bring up Walter and compare him to Jacobo. Oh, look, Walter's trying to get the same haircut as Jacobo, blah, blah, blah. She would bring in Jacobo when it was convenient. And then when I would fire back, Oh, I can't believe she would do this. Like, why he he did nothing? Yeah, you know what? Jacobo has done nothing directly to me or to you, but he because of her mouth, he gets dragged into all of this because yeah. of the shit that she's doing on social media. That's why her address is on Reddit. That's why all of this has happened. That's why his stuff, his court documents are on Reddit because that's the shit that that's the energy she has put out, and now it's coming back to her. And so it's not my fault. It's not your fault. It's her fault because people are, re you can't go around doing these things. And then when people fire back, act like it's, it's, you're the victim. Right. And then, so, I mean, and that's the thing, like, you know, the same thing she said about recap. She said about me, recap is not built for this. She cannot take the hate and bullying. And that's exactly what she said on her live earlier. She is not uh, built for this. She cannot take the hate and bullying. And that one, um, I forgot the fish, fish medical is, said the same exact thing on Reddit. Fish medical is Julia. <laughs> fish medical is Julia. And let me say something, okay? Julia can't take it either. She's not built for it either. Cause she was, behind, she was crying behind her paywall about you. Okay. The energy she had today is not the energy she had the first time you talked about this. She was crying. She was hit. 
And I'm sure she's had a lot of times where she cried about it too. And she's been stressed. And I'm sure she's had fights with Jacobo because she's not built for it either. Okay. She doesn't have the thick skin she tries to make people think. And honestly, that's okay. Because I'll be the first to tell you, these girls had me in tears too. These girls had me wanting to put my kids on a plane back to the States. These kids had me fighting with my relationship or these girls. These girls had me stressed, anxious, all of the above. Because really, nobody's built for it. Nobody should receive that type of energy. But honestly, the energy that Julia has received is just reactive abuse. It's a, it's reciprocating, and it's been the only way for her to stop. This TikTok account is the longest account that's been up and standing because I finally pushed back on her. And it's sad that it took that. But I, I tried to be the bigger person, ignore it, just create content. People will forget about it. They didn't forget about it. It's like the more I try to ignore it, the harder she went for me. And, you know, you mentioned how she mentioned to your other sister, like, oh, you know, I was being stalked and this and that. She was not being stalked, okay? Just like you're coming out to defend yourself right now, what I did to Julia was me trying to defend myself from the things that were going on behind the scenes that I wasn't posting. Me pulling up to her job wasn't just because I was trying to, you know, be funny. That was me trying to get her to stop because she was attacking me. She was, she had me stressed. She had me waking up every day to new videos new accounts. I, I couldn't get away from it. So I tried. It was like a defensive moves for me to try to get her to stop. But it was never like a, I want to, you know, go out of my way to scare her or make her life hell or, or stop her from earning money or get her fired. I was matching her energy. You know, when, when I had people reach out to HEB, it wasn't just like a, a ha ha. It was the, the same things that they were doing to me. They were reaching out to my collabs. They were getting the way of my money. And unfortunately, that didn't make her stop. But it, it ma- you know, it brought us here. I wish it had. And you know what? I have said it a lot of times. If she was to address me directly, I could have a conversation like this with her about it. But she is too prideful to do that. She is, you know, she won't issue apologies or whatever. You know, for me, being in that chat that was created, that recaps exposed, I mean, that was the main motive for them to stop you from making money yeah and you know for for those of you saying oh nikki's so low for this i need you guys to understand that what nikki and i are doing are having like is having a healthy conversation about it if you guys expect nikki to support julia in in creating toxic environment and doing these things like i think that would create more harm for julia like i'm not hearing nikki exposing Julia. I'm not hearing Nikki talk about Jacobo and all those details that you guys really want to know. You know, she's not on here maliciously. She's here clearing her name, having a healthy conversation about it, something that Julia could take a note or two from. But I don't see Nikki doing this maliciously. I don't see her on here, you know, degrading her, calling her names, making nicknames. Like if you watched Julia's live earlier today, there's a stark difference in the content that Julia created today versus what you're seeing on this live. Yeah, the nickname. She always has. Like, even because, I mean, she says, oh, we're not going to do this because of Bebe Kids and the Bebe Kids this. They watch and blah, blah, blah. Okay, my my daughter was watching her. Melinda was watching her live. And she's like, mom, who's Bob? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know who Bob is. And then at the end of the live, my daughter goes, I know who Bob is now. I was like, who, ma? She goes, Annie. Like, yeah. what, how embarrassing is that? She's the one that created the nicknames. She had me nicknamed last year Scam Scam and Scam. I'm glad you're not. I'm not your sister, punk rock princess. <laughs> so the nicknames were born from Julia. And then once we matched the energy and we gave her some of her own, and now she don't like them. She don't like the Torta nickname. She don't like the Orca nickname. Okay, all of those nicknames are matching the, the nicknames you gave us for an entire year. You know what I mean? It's reactive. My daughter watches uh, Julia because Julia goes live on public and she watches her for the comment that says, I let, I let my daughter watch her. Honestly, it's that's public. Yeah. It's public. How can she not watch her? Right. I mean, yeah, I would feel a certain type of way because I, if, if Julia cares about her nieces and nephews, why are you publicizing this? Like I said, I'm still trying to understand why she would publicize this with you during the heat of the hate campaign. Siblings are not toxicity can exist and good for you, Nikki, to cut it off. 
you know, um, I think the fact that this is her sister speaks volumes that, and she's not on here maliciously, but just because your family doesn't mean that you have to support toxic behavior. And what Julia has done is clearly a pattern for me, to recaps, to Julia, and it speaks for itself, really. There's just like so much stuff that I would like to address. Like, okay, I know this is out of out of like content or whatever. Nikki, but did you just take us to the bathroom with you? What the I play? did. I did. <laughs> I couldn't hold it because like I'm at my sister in law's. You know, the sister in law that's um, Julia hates because you know she just can't stand her because she's just a. Uh, I don't know. She she's what is this? What is she? She's the amante. She's the side piece. Blah blah. blah. Um, that this is what I, that's what I was bringing up because she she's such a liar. She says she don't sit at the table with side pieces, right? But yet she's been to my sister in law's house plenty of times, sitting with her at the table. <laughs> I mean, I I don't have much to say about that because. Um, Blanca, yes, um, there's always locks in the pool. <gasps> That's so Does cool. he say que no? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Oh. I just don't think that Julia realizes that, like, she's the drama, and she brings it, right? She talks about you, the sister-in-law, the, the mm -hmm. whoever, I don't even know who Nubi is, but, you know, the, the family members in Mexico. What, we are all curious why, I don't know if you know, why she doesn't want to go back to the Pepto-Bismol room. <laughs> and what, what happened with the <laughs> um I that's new to me like the way you know that Pepto Bismo <laughs> but uh I'm not laughing like it's just it was just funny I'm not laughing at what you know whatever but um honestly um I think around that time is when she started to lose um I guess confidence in me so sh I don't know I wish I could tell y'all but I don't know why she doesn't want to go back she never told me um that's when we started like i guess um like uh having that space in between us so like i i can't tell you like i mean if y'all remember i was um she posted the she posted the threads where i was dry she said it everybody was you know bullying me because oh nikki was very dry how fucking rude of her you were just trying to see how she was doing in mexico like i guess she went to mexico in december so I mean, that's proof that, I mean, we weren't close anymore at that point. So I really don't know why she does not want to go back. Um, somebody asked, why did you and Julia fall out? And I don't think we've heard that from yeah, you directly. And I, yeah, and I really, and, and, and honestly, I have, I, it's not that I don't want to remember. I just don't remember. I just know that we just started, um, it just stopped. It just stopped where we started hanging around like we used to, where we would hang out every day, like every other day when I was off, she was off, we would go out and hang. And it just stopped. Like, I guess I, I also started putting space in between us because I noticed that even when we would go together, she would go her way in the store and then I would be about myself. So I was like, why is she embarrassing me? Or why is she like going her way and I'm going my way? Like there's no, not even a point. So when I started seeing that, I was like, I think, I mean, in my head, I was like, there's no point in me hanging with her no more. Like, she's obviously embarrassed to be around me. Um, and on, and honestly, every time we would hang, Julia wanted to go to the stores. And honestly, I don't have money to be spending at the stores. Like, all my money goes to the bills. So, I guess that was another thing, too. Just It sounds like just normal, like, sibling stuff. where Yeah. And so, I felt like, well, if she doesn't want to hang with me, then you know, I should, like, I should just, like, pull myself away. Like, there's no need for me to be somewhere where she really just, you know, where I'm not wanted. Um, people are asking if Krakow has kids. Someone does get to it. Does he have kids? He doesn't have kids. He doesn't have biological kids? No. Legal biological, kids. no. Um, she did, for those of you jumping on, Lee, she if Nikki did mention that um, she's chosen not to go into detail of that situation out of respect for her other sister and the child involved. I don't believe he's gay. <laughs> you guys are so ruthless. Um, I, I know that people like are here for those details. And you know what? If, if this was flipped, flopped, okay, and if it was my sister on live, I know Julia would be eating it up and people would be asking her all kinds of shit. When it was Walter, same shit. 
they were asking Walter everything and anything. And I know, and I know a lot of it was her and her friends because they mm-hmm. were having a ball and yeah. they enjoyed it. They, they were getting all the tea about me. They were asking how I like to fuck. Do I like it in the ass? I mean, all sorts of raunchy ass things. And like Julia being grateful, we're not on that level. Cause I'm not, I'm not doing this maliciously, but I do think some of it is her own karma because ironically, like two days before you came out and, and, and did that live, Julia brought up my sister, who has never done anything to her, has nothing to do with any of this. And, you know, she threw my sister in there and implanted the seed for people to go look for her and where she works and this and that when my sister has, she's never even on my platforms, you know, and then you came out two days later and I was like, you know what, that's just, that's just karma. Because you go out and you do these things and you drag people in it and then look at what, you know, life puts you in your place as you should be because... She's had no boundaries for anybody else. That's why I don't have a lot of sympathy. When everything happened on Reddit and, you know, those pictures of your mom were posted, I didn't have a lot of sympathy for her because how much she did to me with my children and my family. And, you know, everything that I have voiced and used in this fight against Julia, you know, I don't have a problem with you personally. I don't. My issue is not like pointing out that you guys have a you know drama or whatever because we all have messy families we all have dysfunctional relationships whatever but it was just to point out that look you came at me for so long when your family has their own issues you know your family has criminal convictions your family has felons too your family has thieves too your family has this is not and that's okay but stop coming at me for me talking about mine yeah so, like, just to clarify, Annie is not paying me. Recaps is not paying me. I have never received money from anybody. No one. And I've never given information about Julia. Me coming on here is to defend myself and maybe possibly just, I just, I just have a little bit of the esperanza que Julia deja de hablar de mí and to, and to life. That's all I want is for her to leave me alone. Nobody is paying me nobody at all i don't i do not want any money i've never done anything for money and i don't need to do it like just for the people who are saying that i'm doing this for me i'm not doing it for money annie has not put a gun to my head and told me to come live i'm doing this to see if she would just leave me alone i don't go live you guys follow me and know i do not go live i do not talk about julia i haven't talked to, about her for a long like since that one live just i went live because she kept on bullying me calling me and texting me saying that oh my god i can't believe you um re- you recap paid you to say this and that i it's not true nothing that picture also that recaps posted of my mom if you go look at my my mom's name you will see my mom my mom would post these pictures of herself and if you clicked on the picture if you weren't so fucking dumb you would click on the picture and you would see my mom posted a description and said i just got out of coma god is good i don't know what else she put and she went in on her live and said, I can't believe Nikki sent this picture to Recaps and allowed her to post it. I have no control of Recaps. I did not send her this picture. Like, and y'all, like, right. I don't know. I don't so know when, that, I when that picture was posted on Reddit, and the reason why I left it up is because it, I did, I did my research and I found it publicly. I, I reached out to Recaps and I was like, what the, who is that? And that's when she told me that's her mom. And I said, where did you get this from? And she's like, it's on Facebook. So I went to look and I saw your mom had a large amount of followers and it was posted publicly. So for that reason, I said, if it's already elsewhere, I don't see the difference. But even then I said, if I receive a direct request from Julia to remove this, I will remove it. In that moment, and I know Julia watched it because Julia watches all my stuff. She had the control to get that picture taken down. She chose not to, which is fine. But for her to now turn around and say, you allowed it, is your fault no julia you had the control if it had came when my daughter was on there you know in in the state she shouldn't have been on reddit i don't care who the mod was i would have gone on my knees and said please take my baby down right i would have put my pride aside okay julia didn't do that for her mom so which is fine but don't flip it and say and, and blame you for it blame you for what recaps did and make it out to be like recaps posted a private picture no recaps posted a picture that was already public and a lot of people missed the message behind it and in fact julia today said that her mom was never in a coma and that she was right there and i don't know i don't know what happened i wasn't there 
but recaps i believe was trying to communicate that look she she didn't you know let this grudge go with her mom it goes to show a lot about julia's character and how she is and why she how she holds grudges she you know she just like she said she never she's never gonna apologize she's never gonna admit that she was wrong she'll continue lying about it that's how she is and if she's like that with her own family what can we expect you know what can someone like recaps expect or someone like me that doesn't even know her right um oh, fuck i was gonna say something um oh um come going back to where you said you would have got on got, got in on your knees for them to have your daughter removed um i also would t um i don't know who was behind the fake pages where they were posting family pic my family pictures of my family and i did tell Joel like like you know that's fucked up they're posting my my kids on this you know on this fake page like like i don't like it i didn't see her move a finger to get my kids taken down from there yeah for as, for as much as she's talked up like her nieces and nephews i haven't seen her do much for them and right. here's the thing is julia always had the control if she would just stop people have posted these things and done these things you know in regards to your family to get her to stop just like you're saying i just want her to stop that's all i wanted for a year i've just wanted her to stop and to leave me alone and to leave my kids alone and to stop posting my kids have been all over TikTok too on these fake pages my kids were all over Reddit. My family, my stepdad, my mother, my sisters. That's all I've ever wanted was for her to stop. And so I finally did have to, I, I resorted to things I didn't want to resort to, you know, um, and the thing that happened on Reddit, like I said, it's a free for all because you didn't have any boundaries for me. And if this is what gets her to stop, I'm a, and, and guess what it did? Because to date, she doesn't do that to me anymore. She's doing it to recap and now to you. Um, I do think that it's sad how far this has gone and how many people have been dragged in, how many children have been dragged in, how many spouses have been dragged in, how many people like viewers and mods that have nothing to do with this have been dragged in. But it's always been in Julia's control. And she is literally the feeding force to all of this. And she can't just stand up and say, if one, take accountability, show remorse and stop <laughs> you know she can't stop she's, she's not gonna go from one person to another and although i would want her to stop after her seeing this i don't think she is oh no this is gonna fuel her to to um go more like i predict that after this live the same way that after recaps you know exposed those messages she started exposing recaps as personal life and messages that recaps had shared with her in confidence and her husband and this and that, I suspect she's gonna take that same route with you. And if I'm wrong, I love that for me. But that's honestly the pattern that she has shown is when people stand up against her, she has to shut them up. And she pushes back in very evil, vile ways. And that's what I experienced for a year. That's what recaps experience. And that's what you're experiencing. Yeah, the live that she did today, was the same she she ran to go live before you and i went live so that she could set the stage and hopefully deter you from exposing her and to an extent it may have worked right because we know she went to your other sister and had the conversation with her and made her uncomfortable about you know uh sharing those other details that you had previously wanted to share i yeah i had had permission from my sister to expose how Huckleba got his papers but that was yesterday right today my sister said no i want no part of it like i'm scared people are gonna you know stalk me or or hurt my kids so i out of respect i that's what i mean and this is mean i'm not prideful that's why i messaged you and i told you annie can you please take down that post i posted because out of respect to my sister um i don't want to make her mad mm -hmm. yeah um, did you message Julia on her live today? I did. Did you like try to make amends before you resorted to coming live? No, all I told her was stop saying that Hakobo has uh, provided for my kids when I was a single mom. He never provided for my kids when I was a single mom. If I ever, if he ever gave me money, I borrowed it and paid it back. And if she ever bought my children clothes, it was because she wanted to. I. I had told, I would tell her multiple times, no, it's okay, I got it. My kids don't need clothes. No, I'm going to get it for you. I'm going to get it for you. 
So this, if you did it out of your heart, why are you, why do you keep on coming on live saying that, oh my God, it hurts me so much that Hakobo has literally helped my sister with these kids? No, he has not never helped me with my kids. Yeah. I think like when somebody does something like that for you, especially as a single mom, um, and then throws it in your face, it kind of, um, you no longer did it just to help, right? You did it to be able to say you did it and it's not genuine help. Yeah, and so that triggered me, and I told her, and that's why I messaged her on WhatsApp, because she forgot to block me on WhatsApp, and I told her, stop saying Hakobo has done shit for my kids when he hasn't. And then when she said, um, I, when uh, my husband got approved for his papers, I only owe one person um, a thank you, and that's my dad. No, you owe my sister a thank you, too. And then that's, and she, and she didn't, did she say it? Did she say what I said? No, she didn't. She just said, Ew, oh my god, this thing's, you know, messaging me. Right, because there's more to it. And honestly, it doesn't it doesn't matter how Hakobo got his papers, right? It's like I said, we're not entitled to know those details of his case or whatever. But I think, again, why it's brought up is because she's created this facade. Um, and it's honestly the one thing people have always said, oh, he married you for papers. He married you for papers, which if he did and then they fell in love, cool. It happens all the time. If he didn't, also cool. But it's the fact that you have gone around and you lie so much about everybody else. And then when people come out with your truths, you're offended. When people come out with your truths, then they're the bad guys for trying to shut you up with the truth. And we all know Hakobo is her, you know, prized possession. It's her greatest accomplishment that she has this husband, which I love that for her. But it's also where people were her soft spot and i said it too like that's her soft spot when you mention him she comes out <laughs> you know because she she she'll come out to defend her husband but she won't come out to defend her sister she won't come out to defend her mom she won't oh, no. come out to defend uh, kids she won't defend her nieces and then, but you know you you mention the husband and you know it's how you're gonna get a rise out of her yeah and then she uses my mom as um for people to feel, feel sympathy for her she didn't give a fuck about my mom. She never gave a fuck about my mom. She gives a fuck about my mom now that she's dead because they're posting her. Like, you never, like, I would beg, I would beg her to go, come on, mom's in the hospital, let's go see her. But all of a sudden now you care about your mom. Oh my God, it hurts my feelings. I'm going to die because they're posting my mom. But, but when my mom was alive, you didn't give a fuck about her. When your mom passed, she used your mom as a way for people to hate me. She told people that I was talking crap about your mom passing. And Nikki, I wasn't. I didn't even know your guys' mom had passed. I didn't follow her like that. I learned of, your, of her passing through one of her followers jumping into my life and saying it. Um, but she used that tragedy as a way for people to give her sympathy. And that is what made people really hate me. How dare you be talking about someone that passed? And I was like, I fucking wasn't. I literally was talking about me. I was talking about energy. I was talking about putting out bad energy and receiving bad energy. And it happened to be around the time that her mom passed, but that was it. nothing to do with me. You were running a hate campaign in the middle of your mom's passing. You should have been grieving, but you were over here all up on my shit. And I don't know why people didn't see that, but she definitely used that as a tool for people to come after me. And it worked. It worked for a really long time. I mean, that's what she's, that, I mean, Julia's very smart. She's very smart. I will give her that. She's very smart and knows when to use and what to use. Very. She's very good at it. Very good at it. Um, I'm not even gonna lie. I'll sit here and I'll. And I'll I'm gonna be honest. After I went live and Julia went live and she was crying, she had me feeling bad. She had me feeling like a shitty person. When she was crying, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, fuck, I shouldn't have, maybe I shouldn't have went live. Maybe I shouldn't have did this, maybe I did. But then after I was like, no, like this is her fake crying. This is her trying to get everybody to get on her side. Like this is what she does, you know? And I and I thought about it and I was like, no, like I didn't do wrong. I didn't say nothing wrong. When she was trying to say every, like my kids were making fun of Hakobo, no, they never were making fun of Hakobo. They didn't even say anything about him. Like I was like, everything that she's saying is, is not true. And I, how did I realize that I did nothing wrong and I said nothing wrong is when my live got posted on Reddit and I rewatched it. I was like, I said nothing wrong. Like I did nothing to her. Right. I don't think it was offensive. I didn't see you coming out and like saying, like talking crap about her. I saw you just coming out and speaking on the topic. But here's the thing. When you speak out against her, 
she automatically turns into I'm being bullied. I'm being bullied. When I initially reacted to what she was saying about me and Walter on her live, I literally said, do better and make better content instead of being judgmental. That was literally my caption. And that is what she turned into. To, she's fat shaming me she's sending people to attack me she's this she's that and i was like that's not even what i said like nowhere near what i did but and people believed it i don't know she has the gift of, of, of ma for making people sympathize with her and see her as the victim and and i believe a lot of it had to do with and i don't mean this in an offensive way but julia's a big girl right so you see a big girl getting bullied and automatically people come to the defense because that's what it is. People, something about people being overweight is seen differently than people being skinny and being fat shamed. It is what it is, right? So they saw her pointing at the skinny girl. She's bullying me because I'm fat. And automatically she had thousands of people coming at me because I'm skinny and she's big and I'm fat shaming her. When really I was just shaming what she was doing, not what she looked like. Eventually, yes, I did fat shame her. After months and months, of people attacking me for it and hating me for it and holding me accountable for it. I said, well, what? Why not? She's she's creating all these nicknames. Skeleton, Kalaka, she's body shaming me. To some people, I'm on drugs. That's why I'm so skinny. Yeah, so why don't I get to match the energy? You know, because mm -hmm. obviously, being the bigger person didn't get me anywhere with her. The more I ignored it, the harder they pushed. The more they did. And look, a year and a half, a year later and the fact that i finally pushed back is why she shut up and stopped it's not because she's over it it's not because oh it's last no it's because she's not nothing left because if she was over it she she wouldn't still be the same person that she was a year ago over it. you know what i mean she didn't take down those videos because she's over it she took down those videos because she knew she was gonna look like a hypocrite when she's filing copyright notices everywhere else when people now repost her lives she knew she was gonna look like a dumbass she didn't want people to see where it started because now people that jump in don't understand that Julia started this with those videos. Julia, now it looks like I'm the problem, right? Like I'm just can't stop talking about it a year later when no, you did this for an entire year and now I'm finally getting some type of vindication for it. Now your sister's coming out. Now your old followers coming out. There's people that are actually seeing it for what it was. Right. Oh, I think she fell off. Hold on, let me text her. Her message or my bad. Um, at the end of the day, family's the family, everything worked out. Hi guys. <laughs> okay, we lost Nikki. Um let me message her really quick. You're lagging. It's lagging. It's not lagging on my end is the live lagging for anybody else okay hold on hmm. yes for me still lagging it's fine now My internet is showing fine. So I'm going to give it a second. This has been Epic Besties. Hi, Jack. Um, can you ask her? Okay, I just messaged her. It is, yeah. I am going to post it on YouTube for later. Um. Weird. Okay. Let me re add you. How do we battle? Um, let's see. The live, not live. Okay, hold on. Busting at Nikki Chain has a disaster. Host a live with others.
Okay, let me try to re add her. Oh, here it is. Oh, shit. Sorry, Berla. I sent the, not Berla. <laughs> I don't know who Berla is. <laughs> um, so I just resent the invite to Nikki. And I'm not sure what happened, but. Oh, here it is. Invite. Invite sent. Is Am I still lagging? Am I still lagging? No, all good now. Okay. All right. So I just sent an invite to No, you good. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what happened. Uh she said she just got kicked out the live, but I just sent her a new invite. Her phone probably didn't. no, I'm um, messaging her right now. Send me the invite, Annie. I have something to say. <laughs> Not you, Jack. <laughs> I love you. You're so funny. Um, I think it was a connection issue. It's not popping up. Um. Comment on the live real quick. Julia must be fuming. Well, according to, I don't think she cares, right? Remember, she said today she doesn't care. She says she doesn't care, so I think we're okay. Oh, no, hold on. I just lost my AirPod. One second. Um, let me know if she comments so I can add her. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Are you back? Um, this live will be reposted to YouTube later. Um, oh, here it is. I'm here. Um, what, mommy? No, I didn't. I think my internet is what. Okay, I guess. Invite. It says invite sent, Nikki. Let me know if you got it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, can we talk about like what it does lying? Um, I have a whole YouTube video on that. I don't really. Um, Julie reporting this live like her life depends on it. I'm sure. Um, I need to know why. Okay, I don't know any kind of what that piece is, but my Wi-Fi says it's fine. Um, Nikki. Backup account. PJ's Wi-Fi de Lobuck. <laughs> yeah, my internet is really slow. Um, but not too slow to block you trolls out of here. It was lagging in the beginning. It's all good now. I need her to confirm Julia's Johnny. I literally pieced it together. Okay, so I don't see um, Nikki. Let me see if she's comment or messaged me back yet. Oh. Can you go live on yours and I'll join. So she got restricted from going live. Can you go live on your desktop? Okay, so she got booted out. I think she got reported and she said she got, she's getting a error that she's restricted from going live so which i'm honestly surprised we got this far because we knew that i knew that julia would be 
you know, reporting heavily. Um, I think we kept the life pretty clean specifically because of that. Um, Nikki, if you want to go live on IG, we can go live on IG or if you just want to join in with the comments, but it's a lot different when you're like here with us. Um, she, that actually happened to her last time when she went live, she got reported and, you know, blocked. Um, but like I said, I think we got, we got the gist of it. Um, she was able to cover, I think, you know, things that she wanted to cover. And I didn't want this to be a messy live. I didn't want this to be a live, you know, exposing Julia or, you know, talking shit about her. Um, but things that definitely needed to be addressed. And it hits differently coming from her own sister. Um, you know, you can discredit me all you want. You can discredit recaps all you want. Uh, you can't discredit somebody that grew up with you, somebody that knows you, your own family, standing up, speaking to me about it. And like you said, co-signing the truth, really, um, it, it speaks for itself. And if people still, you know, choose to believe otherwise, they are in their very right to do so. I'm not here, you know, like Julia was trying to convince people of my narrative. I think the truth has been put out to light. Um, <laughs> dude, this is messy. I would, I would claim, I would beg to differ. It's not messy. This hasn't been a messy life. This hasn't been, I know a lot of you were in here probably looking for details and, and, you know, 